Hi crew. I'm going to start a lesson on building skillful writers. We know one of the most important things in being a proficient writer is being able to spell correctly because it's really important. Our spelling counts the most when it is when we're doing our writing. Today we're going to talk about words that end in IC because sometimes they could be really tricky when we're doing uh, writing activities. Skillful writers have to be on the lookout for words that end in IC because of the crazy spelling and language idiosyncrasies they cause. Words such as specific, athletic, basic, public, frolic, picnic, traffic, and panic are just a few of the words that end in IC that are going to cause you some trouble in your writing. But I don't want you to avoid these words. It's really important that you learn these spelling rules so that you can then use them correctly in your writing. Let's get to the few rules I want to be sure you're aware of. When we're adding suffixes to words that end in IC, you have to be really careful. If you're adding an LY suffix, they usually become ALLY instead of just simply LY. So specific would become SPECIFICALLY for specifically. Athletic would become A T H L E T I C A L L Y. And basic, I know you will recognize this spelling when I add the A L L Y on the end. You need to look at these words and take a mental snapshot. It's going to really help you fix your spelling I when adding the L Y suffix to these I C words. The second rule is when you um, when a K is added before suffix, suffixes beginning with E, I, or Y, it's kind of strange. So if you're going to add um, uh, a suffix um, that begins with an E, an I, or a Y, you have to add a K first. So if I'm going to add the ED suffix, I first have to add a K. If I'm going to add the ING to picnic, I first have to add a K. Now this spelling might look really strange to you, but I want you again to take a mental snapshot of that snapshot of that one. Also, if I'm going to add panicky, I'm going to add a Y to panic, I have to add a K to this as well. So take a good look at those spellings. Make sure you remember that adding a K on when it's E, I, and G, or adding a Y. The last one I want to show you is Sometimes when you add, um, you have the suffix of I, C, S, uh, the ending, it looks plural, but they're really treated as singular words. So mathematics is not actually a plural word, it's actually singular. The same with politics. Just something to keep in mind. Our last little piece I want to share with you is some did you know facts. Letter sounds are written inside of A, these two lines right here. We've been practicing those in class. The sound at the end of music is k. The letter C spells k almost 70% of the time. Did you know this? Followed by k and ke, which is occurring about 13% of the time. I bet you thought the sound of k was spelled by k more often. Other frequent spellings are ck, as in black, or CH as an echo. And less often you're going to hear the KK, which is spelled for Hanukkah, and CC, which is occupy. The letter Q is usually followed by a U, and it spells the sound qua in words, except for some foreign origin, which QU is spelled with the k sound, like unique, which is a French word or a mosquito, which is a Spanish word. The letter X can spell X as in extra. Those are just some important tips for you to know in order to become a strategic writer.